YouTube. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my video. I mean, welcome to my video. <laughs> English is hard. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest, easiest pasta. Probably takes like 10 minutes. This is the easiest pasta you're ever gonna make. It's healthy, doesn't have a lot of cheese. It's gluten-free, vegan-free, fat-free, carbohydrate-free, dairy-free, protein-free, all of that is. This, my fellow chefs, I am the greater chef of all time. So. This is what I'm going to show you how to make. For this recipe, you're going to need some pasta. This is the farfalli, farfalle, 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 pasta. It looks like bow ties. So this is what you're going to want to use. You can use any kind of pasta, it doesn't matter. I think bow tie pastas look cooler, so I'm going to use bow tie pastas. You're not going to need so much of pasta unless you have so much of friends, and I clearly don't have that, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Now we're going to need some spinach. To grab that healthy branch. Healthy lifestyle. So then you're going to need two tomatoes wash them obviously because you don't want to get corona you wash the tomatoes so that they're clean garlic you're gonna need about like three four cloves of garlic we have the tomatoes we got the spinach we got the garlic now we need you're gonna need some cheese parmesan cheddar whatever you want to use whatever tastes good whatever you have on hand onions you're gonna need one Onion. So now that you got your onions, you have to cut them, obviously. Just like you have to cut your tomatoes. Huh. Ha ha. I'm missing something. Salt and pepper. That's what you're missing. Keep aside some salt and some pepper, which is inside this box. If you don't know what salt and pepper looks like, then you probably haven't been alive long enough. A pot! Yes, that is what I that is also another thing that I was forgetting. You need a pot to put your the ingredients of your one pot pasta into. Now, for those of you who don't like cutting onions because it makes you cry, here's a little trick. Don't think about crying when you're cutting onions. That is fascinating. Don't think about anything sad in your life. Think of all the happy things. So let's say the one pot pasta you're about to make. So once you cut your onions, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Oh, am I crying? Onions are done. Now that you're done with slicing up your onions, grab your pot. All right, the damn pot. So you put one cup of water into your pot. Maybe like two more cups of water. So you grab your spinach. Spinach, healthy. So we all want to be Papa and Sailor Man. It's got strength, it's got power, it's got muscles. Put your spinach in the pot. I am not promoting the use of drugs, my friends. Don't do drugs, stay in school. Now that you have your spinach in here, just like, I think you have to wash the spinach before you put it in the pot, so do that. I'm not gonna do this right now because it's clearly too late. And then add a little bit of those onions in. Take your garlic. Now here's a trick to crush your, a little bit of crushing garlic. Take the back side of your knife and then just like put it over your garlic and then squeeze it. <sighs> now that you have peeled your garlic cloves, you're gonna mince your garlic. My nose is watering. You mince your garlic, obviously. Like I said, 500 times before. Put your garlic in your pot. Well, your pot should look something like this. God. It looks disgusting right now, but it's okay because when you shed it out, it's going to look like shit. So now we rip open the pasta. I recommend that you do it a little more gently than I did. Put as much as you want, like a handful if you're eating for yourself, maybe two handfuls if you're eating for yourself, and another handful if you have friends, and another handful if you have two friends. You are a popular spoiled little bitch. All right, so now that you know you have all your ingredients in your pot, now we take the pepper and garlic. No, pepper and salt that I was telling you about. Oh, wait, I forgot. Tomato, cut your tomatoes. You just have to cut it like really thin and small. Not nearly as big as your ego, but just small enough the size of your brain. Cut your tomatoes and put it in the bowl. It should look like really colorful, really beautiful. It looks so healthy. Like 
Look at it. It probably looks disgusting to you right now, but once you put it in your mouth, it's gonna be great. Now I'm gonna add in some pepper. Is this pepper? This is not pepper. Tell yourself that you tried and you tried your best and that's all that matters. It's always the effort right now. Switch on your cooker, obviously. How much are you gonna cook? Put it to like 170 degrees Celsius. And then just mix it up, put it, you know, go to like play around with it a little bit. Now we're gonna close it and keep it for it to like get done. I'm gonna be using another pan on top of this pan. So this is what your pot is supposed to look like. If it doesn't look like this, then you fucked up. <laughs> While you're covering your pan, you're gonna wanna need to leave, you're gonna wanna need to leave. You're gonna wanna leave, you're gonna wanna need, you're gonna wanna need to leave. You're gonna wanna need to leave. You're gonna wanna cover and the pan so that it doesn't like I don't know what I'm trying to say. While that is being done, I would like to talk to talk that talk about talk about gratitude, honesty, all sorts of moral lessons. No, I'm not gonna do that. But I'm just gonna sit here and wait. But you're not gonna have to wait with me because I'm gonna edit the waiting part of this video. Isn't this necklace so pretty? Aside from cooking, I do have a few talents that I literally just cleaned my kitchen. I do not deserve this. My first talent being, I can do this with my back. How creepy is that? Let's take a walk around my house. I'm just gonna show you a beautiful view from my balcony that I did not show you in the other video. This is my view. What a, what a beauty, am I right or am I right? I don't know if it's just me, but does anyone else get like really anxious when you put your phone over the ledge of a balcony? Like if I do it or if anyone does it, I get so anxious and I like practically die. Like, I cannot do that. <gasps> this is where I spend most of my days. I have a lot of bees here. It's a nice place for a picture, honestly. I like the lighting here. Wait for the pasta because the pasta's taking a while and I'm getting a little impatient. Now you just have to leave this on for like 10 minutes, 15, whatever you feel like, it doesn't matter. As long as like the pasta is done and it actually goes down your throat and you don't choke to death. Ooh, it looks nice and healthy. Your pasta <laughs> should look like this. As stupid as that sounds, a lot of you might be thinking, oh my god, no, you're not supposed to eat that shit. That's disgusting. Don't put that in your mouth. But no, this is what your pasta is supposed to look like. Once the water evaporates, it is all gonna be good. It's gonna taste great. Now, this is a very important step. When your pasta is like getting close to being done, just have like a little bit of water left in the pasta so it doesn't stick to your pan. But if your pasta is dry, like you or my skin, add more water if your pasta is dry. While it is still boiling outside, go grab yourself a slice of cheese. Right now we got two slices of cheeses because I am two people in one. And I know this recipe was supposed to be like healthy and stuff, but Cheese is fine, just a little bit of cheese is fine. Before you put in the cheese, we need to like make it a little bit like creamy and stuff. Some dairy cream, thick and delicious girl cream, like me. My mother cannot watch this video. This is not coming out. So you put about like two tablespoons of heavy cream. Make your pasta a little bit creamy, you know. Then you're going to take your sliced cheese. Sliced cheese is the most important part of this recipe. So you take your sliced cheese and you like break it into tiny little pieces and then just put it in the pot. As you can see, as soon as I put the sliced cheese, it started to melt. And it looks a little disgusting right now, but that is how it's supposed to look. It smells really good. It smells a lot, 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 lot better than it looks. So that is a sign that this is gonna taste great. So this is what it looks like now. All your vegetables are in place. You got a little creamy. All your vegetables are in place. Tomatoes are red, spinach is green, stop. Soft, plain it. So we're gonna let this boil so that a little bit of that wateriness, you know, water can evaporate. And the sauce can be a little bit thicker, like me. What just happened to my camera? You're gonna take your other slice cheese. Now, you're, I don't think you need to use all of it. Just use some of it, depending on how much cheese you want in your pasta. I really want a lot of cheese because I gave 6 pages of quarantine, as you can see. So now, we are gonna wait. So now, we are gonna wait. So now, 
we aren't gonna wait. It's starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, but that's okay. I think you can still work with it, just like scrape it off the bottom. Now while I wait for the rest of the water to evaporate, I'm going to put some salt and pepper. <laughs> The recipes I've seen online, they always say salt to taste, so I'm guessing add as much salt as you want. I'm literally cooking a one pot pasta that I don't know the recipe to by heart. If you don't like spinach, if you don't like the weird slimy texture of spinach in your mouth, you're going to make this pasta. I keep like stirring under the pot because my cheese is sticking on my pot. Now that that is done, okay, so these are maple leaves. You're not supposed to use this. You're supposed to use coriander leaves for garnishing, but you know what? I don't really have coriander leaves with me right now and they're out of stock everywhere. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this. These still do like taste great. So you can use these if you want as an alternative. Just garnish it with anything that looks green. I don't really know if garnishing makes a difference, but I do know that it makes your food look good. You know, it's like adding the final touches to it. So, your pasta's done. Now you grab a plate. So this is what your pasta is supposed to look like. Now you're gonna take your Parmesan cheese. If this is actually the powder, have the powdered version of it. And you're just gonna put a little bit on there like that. Ha! <sighs> so now obviously you're gonna eat it and it tastes great. This is why I should be on MasterChef. Really hope that one day someone from MasterChef sees this video and goes like, oh my God, she's the one we need. She is going to take over. Mm. And like the best part is it's really healthy, which means it's like low in calories. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will put my Snapchat and Instagram somewhere over here, over here. Somewhere down. If your talent is Temple Run, this video is for you. Bye.